topping tonight's news, Alabama's new governor completed her first full day in office today. She's only the fifth woman to serve as governor in the entire U.S. and Alabama's second. But who is Kay Ivey? WVUA 23's Taylor Walton joins us now with some answers. Taylor. Tamika, Kay Ivey's a small town girl who found herself in an office she didn't expect to hold, but prepare for. I was prepared for this day, but never desired it and certainly never expected it would come. Suddenly, a 72-year-old former school teacher is Alabama's 54th governor. Kay Ivey is originally from Camden, Alabama, a small town with about 2,000 people in a county with one of the highest unemployment rates in our state. An Auburn graduate, Ivy worked as a high school teacher and bank officer before becoming the first Republican elected state treasurer in 2002. In 2010, she was elected lieutenant governor and re-elected in 2014. Holding that office until Dr. Robert Bentley's resignation Monday propelled her into the most powerful position in the state. But we've got a really good relationship with Governor Ivy. I have known her for a long time. We've worked with her on, on other projects in the past and so I'm confident that, that the change in administration won't have a negative uh, impact on our community in any significant way. CEO of West Alabama's Chamber of Commerce, Jim Page, says he wants to develop the same kind of relationship with Governor Ivey that he had with Bentley. And we've maintained a good working relationship with Governor Bentley uh, during his administration, and that won't change with Governor Ivey. We will certainly uh, stay in contact with her. We will go uh, go to see her and talk about issues that are affecting this area. Political experts expect the transition from Bentley's administration to Ivy's to go smoothly. Well, she's no novice to state politics. She knows what she's doing, and uh, she'll pick, pick a good bit of her own chairman, I believe. As Governor Ivy moves in, former Governor Robert Bentley is moving out, and the state auditor expects that to happen soon. Dr. Bentley has until April 18th to vacate the governor's office and April 19th to clean out his office in the state house. Reporting live, Taylor Walton, WVUA 23 News.